Welcome back to the channel. Another world camp with our mate Jay Doy from Camping World with the Dragon. The three bearded amigos are back out. The weather is absolutely atrocious. Heavy rain forecast, uh, high winds. Uh, we're going to camp up to the uh, Grooming Val Reservoir, uh, the Boffy end of the reservoir, I should say. You camped there before, so we know whereabouts we're going. So we're going to wait for this rain just to die down a little, and we're going to make tracks. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Right then guys, we've got a bit of a break in the weather. We're getting our packs on. All um, covered up. And make our way up there now. point now with the walk, just starting the walk, you can either go that direction or you can take the higher road, or higher path I, sh I should say, to the reservoir and uh, we said on a previous video that if you go on the higher path it's a bit of an easier route up so uh, this is the way we're going to go I think, makes a bit of sense. Check this out. Have a look at this footpath. Boy, we've had some rain over the last couple of days. But I'll tell you what, the weather forecast ain't looking that good. But I'm looking forward to this in a weird and warped way. Yeah, it'd be good. Test out the tents. And our down sleeping bags. See how warm they are tonight. So yeah, whatever the weather, bring it on. That's what it's all about. Right, where's Di? Here he is. Tell you what, I've said it before, I'll say it again. He'd be late for his own funeral, that boy. <laughs> He's like a bloody snail, he is. Anyway, let's crack on. So far so good, um, there's no rain at the moment so uh, we have got to count our blessings I think but um, if you can look down there you can see um, how fast our river's moving, hell of a torrent but uh, we're going that direction. So yeah so far so good, it's the, the rain's holding off so uh, can't complain. Hi mate, hi. Right. <laughs> I 
Marco. I think guys, we've made our way around the reservoir now and we're going to make our way over there. See that rocky ledge over there? I'm going to set up camp there. And if I pan round, there's the bovy in the distance. So let's um, make our way around there. Right. Here's a green vower bobby. Back again. Over oh, here. Lovely. Fancy sleeping here? Yeah, it'd be alright, I suppose. Soaking it, yeah, I so Must be leaking somewhere. Cheers, Mooster. Here we go again. It's the, the return of the treacherous river crossing. Got a sign. Yay! Before we go on to our campsite up there, it was on the top of that hill. We bought the sauce and we fit up that car. Just like that. Come on, Dai! You gotta get over quick, just go for it. Right. I'll just keep them off and check them over. Okay, grab. Let's go. Oh. So here we are then back again in the Green Valley Reservoir. If you can see over just where my finger's pointing, that's where the body is. Um, I think by here is the, the flattest place we could fit two tents. Um, we camped around there last time but it was, it was pretty uneven and uh, basically it only fit one tent there we, you know, we found so we're down here now. Dai's just finishing off putting his tent up. Our tent is to the left, a Van Gogh Hurricane 200. And uh, yeah, we have, you know a couple of showers we've had, but um, all in all, the weather's pretty good. It's getting a bit cold now, mind, but yeah, it's a perfect spot. This is, and uh, some nice views. Welcome back, guys. 
Dolly's over there, he's still doing his tent and his setup. And me and Simon are gonna have a coffee now. So yeah, nice um nice set in this. Climate. Nice. How much is that, Di? Is it? What's that called? Gives the extra Oh, is it? It's like a sheet. Oh, okay. Obviously wraps around it. Yeah. And then you also got like a pocket which you can put a pillow inside it as well. And it keeps it pillow in place. Oh, right. And I obviously got an extra room as well, so... Ah, well look at that, I know. First time I've ever used it. But I didn't use it yet. Cool. Just turned 20 to 5, mm -hmm. all the camps set up. And um, the light's fading really fast now, uh, and it's starting to get a bit, bit chilly, so we've uh, layered up, have a nice cup of coffee. So, uh, just a little message to Taff and Mooster. Hope you're having a good night, guys. I bet you're sat in front of the fire now while the radiator, eating a nice hot meal. And that's for you, out here in the freezing cold in the wild. I bet you a year, really, don't you? Um, <laughs> we'll check back with you tomorrow when we're back out of this uh, wilderness. Hey, welcome inside the tent. We were just going to go outside and make our tea, and it started raining. So we are in the tent now. Having a can of the Herefordshire fire water. Because quite frankly there's nothing else to do. It's dark and it's raining. So anyway, cheers. <sighs> May as well just have a fun day Sunday instead. Nothing else to do. Right then guys, the weather has finally abated. We're back up now. Cooking our supper. I've got the fire pot chili con carne and rice. Nice and easy. Put the old pot on the go for the boiling water. Dies in his tent, he's having his food in there. I think he's coming out there, we're gonna have a few drinks and sit outside. Check this out. It's a little lizard. A local wildlife. He's playing dead here, isn't he? He's just like frozen like but yeah. well let's leave him be. And go back into his little there. Uh, Don't see many of them round, do you? No. How's it looking, Mark? Done? Yep, yeah, pretty much. So look inside the... I think I've put too much water in there. I don't know. Might be alright. Oh, yeah. Give it a taste now. I'm having the fire pot. Porcini. Mushroom. Risotto. Should be done though, so let's have a look. It's alright. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of that, guys? Does that look appetizing to you? Really, let's see how it goes. Well, I just had a couple of mouthfuls of this, and uh, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of it. 
there's just no taste to it. And um, they're not cheap, these meals, mind. I, I, well, I paid £6.25 for this. And to be honest, I think it's been a waste of money. Like Mark got the chili, I've had that before and it's nice, but this is just quite bland. And definitely not worth them. Six pounds twenty-five. What well, I pay for it, I won't. I won't be buying that again. That's for. That's for sure. Welcome back. Dies kindly brought us some beer. There's three of us, so you got three bottles in a in like a presentation box. It was. Um, it's a Brecon Brewing. It's Brecon Brewing. Brecon Brewing. Yeah, right. On the left, you got cribbing. In the middle, you got corn D. And on the right, you've got Penna Van. So, me and Mark have actually camped on Cribbing and Penna Van. So, we never know in the future we could be camping on Corn D. Maybe another future uh, world camp. Right then, Di, you can crack those open now. No trace. Yeah. Put all this tight. Tight. Corn D, Panavan to the right, Cribbin to the left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Give me the verdict, Mark. Sometimes I gotta take two sips. It's tangy. Tangy. It's alright. Not bad. It's like a Typical craft beer, isn't it? Yeah, craft beer. Yeah. Typical craft beer, yeah. Nice though. So what would you give it out of ten? First impressions are probably about a five, like six. Five or six, I'd say. So for the both, five or six? Yeah. Right. What do you reckon, Dave? Right? Have you tried, yeah? Penny fan? No, it's nice, pleasant. Dragon. Don't know if I could drink it all night though. You can't, I only give you one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what dragon on it? Like you said, yeah, it's a typical craft beer. My opinion, I'd craft. It, I'd give it the same. Yeah. Six. Tell me, a lot of craft beers taste the same. Yeah. M maybe yeah, assist me. Right. Yeah. They come out with all these uh, different flavour bitters and all that, don't they? It is nice though. Sometimes you it's can't, not bad. It's good. You can't even taste it, can you? Nah. Yeah. I'd rather like. Um, I like it. Good there. Eh? A pint of brains bitter with a bit of a head on it, like in a pub. Yep, future, nice, future camping spots, Corn D. Oh yeah. Watch this space. Hi there guys, welcome back to camp. Me, Simon and Di, you're going to have a, a few more of these. Anyway, while I'm on, just want to give a shout out to another fellow YouTuber called Bulldog Badger. Cracking guy, um, Damien his name is. He always... Um, comments on our videos and watches our videos so yeah check his channel out he's got some really good content um, I'll leave a link in the description below the video so check him out guys really um, top guy so yeah Bulldog Badger well, I tell you what you can't beat this can't beat it a few drinks middle of nowhere Nice wild camp. Awesome. Good company, man. Good company. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. We're having a movie night in the middle of nowhere. Turner and Hooch. We've got the Dolby surround sound at the back. Here. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> I can hear the dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. I got five rolls of film. Simon's in the back row on his own. <laughs> and fair to say the weather's holding up, it's not even raining, which is a miracle. So yeah, cracking nice. Glad to see you. I need coffee with cream. Do you take sugar? <laughs> Two sugars. <laughs> Two sugars. That's if there's not well, raining in Wales, it's a miracle. You guys would get the hell out That's here. for sure. Okay. Up here is our jurisdiction, guys. Do you have the entire county to share? Morning guys, welcome back to camp. As you can see I'm boiling some water for the coffee. Let's die. There's Simone. Just sent the drones up. Over the reservoir, I guess some aerial footage. So it's coffee time. Jet boil's almost boiled. Only a small breakfast this morning, nothing, uh, nothing fancy, just uh, porridge with cinnamon. And uh, the customary tailor's coffee bags. Yeah, this place never disappoints me, it's a lovely place, isn't it? It's a lovely spot for a wild camp. Yeah, yeah. It's out of the wind by here as yeah, well. Yeah, no wind at all. No wind at all. I don't think the tent moved on, like, did it? No. We didn't have one breath of wind all night in our tent, so it was perfect. And, we, and uh, the reason we brought this tent was we were expecting high winds. So that's why we brought this... Uh, the Van Gogh Hurricane 200 tracking tent. And what a better, and no better place to have your breakfast in the morning with a view like that. So 
Stunning. Guys, check this out. Dye's pack just rolled down the side of the bank. If you look down there, is um V quilt is floating down the reservoir. I don't know if you can see it. Just going past a little tree you now. I see there. You never know, you might be able to pick it up at the end of the dam. <laughs> Coming out way, yeah. yeah. You might end up in the river down the bottom. Go over the dam wall and then. You'd probably get down there. Shame, man, isn't it? Well, that pretty much brings an end to this uh, this camp. It's been a good night. Uh, it's been a good camp out. Apart from Dai losing his uh, sleeping bag down a down a bit of a cliff, never to be seen again, probably. Um, we're all packed up. Dai's still packing up. He believed his own funeral. But um, as always, that's where the tent, the one tent was. That's where the other tent was. And as always, leave no trace. See you on the next one.